Look what I'm watching. Look what I'm watching. Nah, too much. Oh, my friend, my friend. You know who this is. I'm going to tell you who this is. Who it is, it, this guy. That's Lloyd Kaufman, dude. That's Lloyd Kaufman. 50 years. Lloyd, you would look good with a beard. You should grow a beard. I'm sorry, but I got it. Don't you know who this is? Because the other people there were the New York Times. Oh, the New York Times. The New York Times. Those fucking guys. The New York Times. I'm not even going to say. Sometimes it's better to just sit back and just watch. I'm not even going to talk about the New York Times. If they don't talk, if they don't give their respect to my Lloyd, then I'm not going to give uh, the respect of mentioning. Guess what the fuck I'm going to talk about right now. So I'm over here thinking I'm like, yo, I like Lloyd Kaufman, you know, and, but like he isn't all super well known. But why? Because you have to do like super numbers and you have to participate in the Borg, in the Borg, Hollywood. You have to be participate in the Borg or else it's very hard. It's very, very hard. I like Hollywood, dude. I'm not talking shit about Hollywood, okay? I'm just saying the Borg is real. They are one and they are many. Is that how the Borg used to go? They had a they had their own little saying. The Borg are is a group of many. They are a community of people who have a like overwhelming like opinion of things. And if you don't agree with that opinion, then they do not want you to participate. You get defooded shit. I live in a community of Borg. I'll explain. I'll explain. If somebody lo like Lloyd Kaufman lived here in this community, he's a very likable person. And I don't know how you wouldn't. He, he's adorable. I love Lloyd Kaufman. But believe me, people like Lloyd and myself, like if you, Maria Bigod, let's, this is going to be a mess. I'm going to title this video called Maria Bigod. That's Maria Mustache. Okay. The people of this community, typically the gossipy Portuguese with big fucking mouths that never shut the fuck up about other people. The women, I call them Maria Bigod, Maria Mustache, because they are like this. I'm the type of person where I ha if I meet somebody and I like them, that's it. I like them. I ain't got fucking be worried about what everybody else thinks about them. I'm like, yo, I like this girl. She's cool. And that's it. That's it. But then Maria Bigod will come around and be like, do you know that she did the co cocaine? Do you know that she has um, one baby by four different guys? She has one baby by four different guys. I'm like, damn, how is that even possible? Okay, fine, if that's what you say. Uh, Maria be God be fucking making shit up, making shit up. And did you know that one time in band camp, she put it the flute in I was like, ah, I didn't fucking hang myself with shit when I'm around Maria be God. When I'm around Maria be God, dude. And so like, there will be somebody, I don't give in to that shit, homie. I don't give it, the men are the, even worse, the men are the same thing too. The men are the same thing too. They're so fucking insecure. I've met people in the community. I was like, yo, this dude's cool as fuck. Like, yeah, but did you know? What did he do, dude? What did this guy do? Tell me, Portuga, Italiana from Putaloma. Tell me what the guy did, dude. I want to know. Tell me his sins. Tell me his sins that he's confessed to you because you guys are such close friends. Uh, did you know one time in this and that? And then about it, about it, about it, about it. And it's just like, God damn, dude. But I don't give a fuck that you guys don't like him. I do. I do. And guess what? He don't be fucking saying your motherfuckers' names. Y'all motherfuckers be saying his fucking name. You know, he don't give a fuck about you. So that's what Borg is, dude. And pe people, if you don't fit in with the Borg, you're fine. It doesn't mean you're fucking different, dude. I mean, it probably does mean you might have something to you that the Borg don't like. How about that? How about that, you know? And in the end, if you just dust the bottoms of your feet off and fluff your fucking beard. If you fluff your beard like this, you take your, you take your hand. You take your hand. You go like this to prepare the volumizing. 
the, mo the volumization of your beard. You take it like this. Then you take your hand, you place it behind the beard, and you fluff that shit in their fucking faces. And if you do that, you'll be fucking fine. You ain't be worried about what Borg says, dude. Because in the end, the bitterness, because bitterness is like, you can meet one cool person and all it takes, and they walk into a room, and the one fucking bitter person that hates that person will start going, right? But it takes that person's bitterness to be heard and believed by another. And once that fucking bitterness spreads, then that person is like, whoa, you guys ain't for me, dude. I'm not one of you, obviously, and you ain't one of me. And I gotta go. And that, that's perfectly fine. That's actually a good thing. That's healthy. That's healthy. Let the fucking toxic people fucking come together. Let Borg, let Borg have each other. So that when you move on, when you move on, they stay saying your name, but you don't wait. You fucking just keep doing, you fluffing your beard, bro. You just fucking. Be. They see you walking around like this, fluffing your fucking beard and shit, and bored. Don't even fucking like that. It's true. Zizu.